our footwork, we don't want to be flat footed. We want to be kind of slightly on the balls of our feet. You're going to take your right leg, step back, left leg, step forward. Right leg, step up, left leg, step back. Okay, we'll do one more to get one more round. We're going to take our right leg, step back, left leg, step forward. Now we're going to go back the other direction. Left leg step back, right leg step forward, left leg up, right leg back. Left leg back, right leg up. One more this direction, left up and back. So it's just kind of working on that footwork. You can be on the balls of your feet and moving sideways a little bit. Everybody knows to move forward. And move back without crossing the feet. But, but in sparring, we never want to cross our feet, right? What can happen? Fall over. over trip. Can't get a good kick. So by here, by coming up, we can always throw a kick. Coming back, we can throw a kick. So let's go again, slowly to the left and right, and then we're going to kind of do it by count. We'll do only three. So we're going to come up. Back one, come back, two, up, three, we'll do one more. And then back, four. Now to the right. Back one, up two, back three, up four. All right? So up one, back two, up three, Back four. Remember, one point's out. Now we're going back. Back one. Up two. Back three. Up four. Notice she's light on her feet when she's doing it fast, right? We're not going to stay like this. Okay. So let's do uh, back and forth by count. Again, ready? Up. One. Two. Three. Four, back, one, up two, back three, back four. Now we're dancing. Okay. Then now we'll be dancing today. Okay, so now this part, we've got our feet. Try not to look down at your feet and do it. See if you can keep your head up. Now, hands up. Okay, so we come up, one, back two, up three, Back four. Let's go back to the right. Back one. Up two. Back three. Up four. There you go. One more time. Back one. Up two. Three. Four. And back. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. So eventually, once you get it down, you'll be able to. Go back the other way. Left leg back in front. So we're not going to add a kick to this, so we're going to keep our hands up. We're going to step up, kick, and then we're back. Okay, so let's do that again. So you're just going to step up, kick, and then kind of come back. Now you can step up, kick, and like pull. So either way works. Whether I step up, kick him, and then get back for distance, or if I need a close distance, I can step up, kick, and land in front. So that's the first one. So I'll just step up, kick, and then we can land. Now from here, we're going to step back, kick, and back. So we're kicking with the left leg each time. Okay? So with the left leg in front, I'm going to step up, kick, step back, step back, kick, here. Okay. You can do the same thing you've been doing. This is real easy, right? And land. To start off. Then you come back and you use the same leg to make it simple. Alright, let's do a couple. Let's do five of those each. Ready, set, go. Throw it off 
offense and defense. Just a little bit of that. Right? So, uh, when you get good at that, pop chain, right? Sometimes we advance, sometimes we retreat. Correct? Front or back one. Switch. Step up, kick. Step back, power kick. Step up, kick. Step back, power kick. Footwork that she has and taught you. So, what were we doing before? Now 
background, psychic, land. That gets in the whole other game. Now you're going to sideways and forward. But I really want you to work now. We're going to digress. Everybody put your left leg in front. Left side. Now I just want you to put your hand here. And I want you to do this. About five times out. He's going to move sideways. Yeah. He's already doing that. That's how kick comes to Sarah. Or I'm not going to have any problem. Right? You've got to work your way around you guys. I promise you there's someone out there bigger than you. Good. Slide outside. Land in front. Careful on here, go on, pass off. Just be careful of this that they slip. You may have to leave the scoop spin. So it's not spin. We'll do one more. Slide up side and down. Now, let's face the back. There we go. More about face. Now we the other play. Right? So what we'll do on this side is we'll slide up kick, step back. Okay? So from here, slide up, point your hip, side kick, step back. Let's do that again. Slide up side. Step back. One more time. Slide up the side. Step back. Now we're going to move forward. Slide up side kick. Reach angle and land. Slide up side kick. Reach angle and land. One more time. Slide up side kick. And land. Good. And about face. Good. Good. So I'm light yellow. Out of that area. So now let's introduce the hot and we can get a little bit more distance. Right? And I don't want to tell the crowd. We start stepping and kicking so they just can get everything lined up, get their kicks good. Now they've worked on that for quite a few months. Now we get up and we want to gain a little distance and not telegraph so much. So we hop side. Okay? So it's just kind of a hop foot to foot, side kick land in front. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop side and land. Good. We'll do one more this way. Hop side and land. Let's go. When you get it to defend somebody. All she did was like the arm and integrity. Step up and last arm enough to stop. Okay? Now we're hopping. Now we're actually pulling it all together. Some of you guys will do this. Easier than others, depending on your age and build and, and skill level of the time. But if I'm really wanting to drive this big guy back, and I'm not going to shoot for anything from the knee up, I'm going to pump and I'm going to blast him. Does that make sense? Not step. See the difference? Can you see the momentum there? That's what we're doing. That's a very powerful technique on the tough fence in the street. You blast somebody when their arms aren't. Okay, that makes sense? There's the difference. It's harder, correct? Nobody else might struggle with this. So when you just work on the footwork, there's a little, there's a little belt trying it. But then you blast them, like I just started to do with him. He's like, he's going to hit me. <laughs> and I've done it. Got it? Yes. Same way as the other did. Okay? And that movement we made, up and back. What if I start to move in and he comes towards me? I'm flanking him, right? See why? And what if he moves back this time? I'm still flanking him, I don't know. Same movement. Make sense? That's what we're learning how to do on our feet. If you don't learn those angles, and you want to go toe to toe, I hope you're bigger, stronger, and faster than the person you're dealing with. Right? Okay. It's all some of you. Uh, a little off coming in you're just not able to or ready to or whatever. So I don't want you to pump too many times. But used to, uh, in my high day hand classes, I would have them pump from one end of the room to the other with one leg. And then I'd have them pump back. I, if you think you can do it, fine. I'm not much good at it. I'm not good at it. Okay? Sure. Some of you ask me that. He 
even without oxygen. I know you guys can do it. For sure. So what we'll do is everybody get a backstand starting block. Yeah. All right. We'll do uh, a single pump. Then land. And I'll tell you what we'll do next. Single pump, right? Single one pump. Okay, I'm in good position. Ready? One. On the next one, you're going to do two pumps without putting your foot down, if you can. You warmed up enough over there? A little slide there. Right, we'll call you out here. <laughs> two pumps, if you can. Don't kill yourself. Ready? Two. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Try to think. Work arms. This right here, you're pumping. It's a good defensive posture, and this is a good posture. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Got my ice on my gun sights. We're going to kick him. This way. Try not to pull the shoulder too much like this. You need to keep from it. We're all made different. So do your best. I mean, you can't do it perfect. Well, somebody can. Or you say you can. Or we can be They're going to go medium, low, high. And then I'll fall. Alright, so medium, low, high. This is how we vary this up. And let's try that once. Ready? Go. Hey, most of you did it. You didn't even know you could do it. You didn't even know you could do it. Middle, low, high. Middle, low, high. Middle, low, high. Let's try that one more time. If you're ready. Come on. Understand. Middle, low, high. Go.
See how I did that? You did that way too. But see, I switched my feet a little bit. I moved forward. That pulls me. All right, let's try a few of those more for us. See if you do it or not. Okay, ready? Okay, so now I switch and I double switch. See that? Switch, double switch. What's the difference? Here's the switch, and I take the left bit. And I see something in the switch, or the distance. So I switch, and then I double switch and go back to the other leg. Got it? Because he, he swung back, and it was there. Got it? So it's a double switch. It goes like this, and again. Let's do it together once. It goes like this, and again. Fire right okay. kick. Got it? So guess what happens this time? You're going like this, and left leg kicks. Got it? Now we'll switch. Bank them with your body. Let's try to see how we're doing it. Switch, and this is not there. Sometimes I'll get, I'll get this, and it's not there, so what I'll do is I'll switch, drop it, spin. Spin hook, spin soft. Got it? So a lot of this is reading the opponent. Sometimes it blocks them with cycle. So we're going to do the same switch. So we'll hit it and spin, right? Because we're not going to really pull it in the drop. So we see space and then it goes. Okay. Alright, let's try it. Switch spins. Spin side, switch spin crescent, switch spin hooks, switch spin wheel kick, switch spin. Jump spin wheel kick. Try the basic curve. Switch, spin kick. You have to do that? Yeah. There we go. Double, spin. I'm just showing the ground cover. So I may be fighting and he's really moving back fast. So I add that extra. I'm intending to start to get this. I did a little switch first because it's so bad. I'm always a step ahead. See that? You're an overachiever. I am. I think since your arms are down, I should have done a spin hook for a few. I'm going to leave it on down short. All right, double switch. Spin. Try it. One. Go. Yes. That's it. Good. We've got a lot of football drills. We're going to continue on with that theme. And uh, we're going to go over what I call a clock. So, my students will know what this is. So, you always, you know, you have a clock, you're 12 noon. And you got one, six, the nine, and two in. So mainly a clock, we're going to work on the ten, the, the ten, the two, the four, the eight. So we're going to ladder, kind of getting a little bit of a spider drill going on it. So we're going to go out to ten. Just take your left leg, come here, bring your hands up. So we'll do a hand drill here in a second. And then come back to the center of the clock. Then go ahead and go to two. And then back to the center. Hard parts backwards to eight. Back to the center. And then to four. So when I'm sparring, someone charges in, I really don't want to go to three because I'm all on my angles. I want to come back. If I want to land one who charges in on me, if I don't want to be at three o'clock here. If I'm off balance, he can kick and hit, and I don't have a good angle. But if he charges in, back to my four o'clock and be able to kick and go. And then alternatively, if I'm going to charge in on him, I'm going to come here so I have that kick, whichever kick I want to do. And the angle, if I face for 45 degrees, is the sweet spot that I want to be in. So what I want to do is just start off without doing too much kicking yet in the center of our clock. He thinks he's wearing a mask, I can't tell. And then I want to practice is going out to 10, and then to 2, and then to 8, and then to 4. So you're going to go forward, forward, back. Again, try to get the balls of your feet. Don't play in flat footed, heavy, heavy flat footed. Try to just stay on the light. Follow your foot. 
so I can move. Then once you've gone that way, try to reverse it. Try to go back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward. So try to do that. Do one way, clockwise and counterclockwise. Do about three of those. Contact. So on this, it's a lot of visualization. So if they throw a punch, I step out to my 10 o'clock. That same hand blocks. Count. Okay? So if I step out to 10, I'm blocking their punch and wing it. Okay? So it's one, two. And I did the other side. Right hand, right foot, walk out. And if I go backwards, it's one, two, and then the other way, one, two. So again, visualizing, I slap, walk out, slap, walk out, go backwards, slap, walk out. The foot that steps back is the one that slaps, and the other one that leads it out. Okay, so it's dance. Step one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. The foot goes first, mix it up, see if you can do different sides, and how fast can you visualize. So slow. So now the next one, that's kind of just get the hands and the pops and kind of slap into the hands a little bit, little trapping drills. So we can add the kick to it, whether I go forward or back, and depends on what they do, whether it be front kick or back kick, axe kick, side kick. I can step off, I can block, or if they're moving in, I'm going to go off to my 10, and I've got that front kick. I step off to the 2, Back leg, front kick. And again, if I'm coming here, I'm going to angle and kick towards the center. Angle, kick towards the center. Don't angle and kick wherever you know I'm there. Okay? So when I do it visualization-wise, I'm kicking back to that center of the clock. Okay? And then backwards, if they were charging, you know, lateral and kick back, or lateral and kick back. So that's where the side kicks, hook kicks, round kicks. So on the drill, we'll start off simple. We're just going to step to the side, right leg kick to the center. Step to the side, kick to the center. So back, front leg kick. Go back, front leg kick. You can lateral and go around kick. Come back to the center. Lateral and around. I like for defense if they're charging in. Back, side kick. Back, side kick. You can go to the 10, axe kick. Lateral, hook kick. And then the back, foot kick. Back, hook kick. Got that kick. Anything that's worth it. If I go in with the leg, that's not stepping, that that leg is kicked. So the leg steps back, the other leg kicks. So I'm going to experiment a little bit. Go slow, but I step here, what's my favorite offense to kick? If I'm charging in on somebody, or having somebody blast by and go to the side. It's front, axe, round. But do the 10, 2, 4, 8. And play with the kids to see what feels good for your body type. Because everybody's body type is different. Some kids feel good for you, that you'll hate, that you like, and you don't.